In back segment tonight, the investigation into Sergeant Bo Bergdahl by the U.S. Army. You may remember the 28-year-old sergeant held by the Taliban in Afghanistan for nearly five years returned to the USA after being traded by President Obama for five top Taliban commanders who were in U.S. custody. That was on May 31st of this year. Now, soldiers in Bergdahl's unit accused him of deserting. The Army initiated an investigation which was supposed to be completed by August 15th. It's now October 3rd. The Army tells us there's nothing untoward going on, nothing out of bounds, but it would not provide a spokesperson this evening. However, joining us from San Diego, former Marine Corps prosecutor, Captain Christopher Oprison, and from Washington, Cully Stimson, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense under President Bush the Younger. So to begin with you, just before airtime, the Army, who is, is nervous about this, um, gave us a statement that said the investigation is complete, on Sergeant Bergdahl, but being reviewed. Now, this is long overdue. So what do you think is holding it up? I think what's holding it up, Bill, is the fact that unlike most court martials where the investigation is done relatively quickly after the crime has been committed, the alleged crime has been committed, this uh, process inserted a general uh, outside the military criminal justice process into this to do a full and complete follow-up investigation before the potential court martial even started, so there's an extra road bump along the way. Well, wait, 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 but if you got a general, that should make things go faster. He's a general. <laughs> Give he me this. So, Let's Bill. go. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's an absolute and I.I. because it's a legal process. He has lawyers advising him. No doubt they've interviewed him and other people associated with this case. And this is one of the primary reasons for the delay. All right. Um, Captain, I, I suspect there's politics involved here. Um, because if it comes out that uh, Sergeant Bergdahl is a deserter and may, perhaps a collaborator, it's going to like the president look bad. Nope, that's uh, that's exactly right. Listen, this is one guy. How long does it take to do an interview? Uh, the the two star general, General Dahl, waited almost to the very end, literally to a week before the end of the sixty day period to do his interview, and it was a two day interview. Now, if he had other people he wanted to follow up with, he should have done that before. He met with Bergdahl. All right, so you agree with me then, Captain, that this thing has not been expedited the way you would have done it in the Marine Corps? I think they're slow rolling it. And now this is speculation, and we don't like to do that here, but there is this political component that's enormous, Mr. Simpson, correct? You're absolutely correct. There is a political component. And at the end of the day, Bill, some people are not going to be happy no matter what happens in this case. You can be sure of this. Bergdahl is out of the military at the end of this process, whether he goes via a court-martial or whether he gets administratively separated or just allowed to get out. He's gone. But, you know, unless he gets life without parole or a heavy sentence, some people are just going to say it wasn't fair. Well, but, look, I, I'm not worried about what some people say. I want the truth. I mean, I, I feel like a few good men, Jack Nicholson, right? Uh, Bill, and then there's Tom Cruise. And I'm Tom Cruise in my dreams, all right? And I'm saying, Captain... I want the truth. And, and, I, and I do. I want to know if Bergdahl was a collaborator. I want to know if he was a deserter. And I want to know if our commander in chief, President Obama, made a bad deal for this nation. And I think everybody else wants to know the same thing. Well, I think that's right. I mean, listen, they're, everything about this stinks from the start. They, they turn on a dime and let this, uh, they, they do the trade on a Saturday, May 31st. They don't give the proper notice to the congressional hearing uh, committees. Uh, and, and they say they had to open, they had to act within a window of time. Well, listen, you've had your, you've had your time to act. You've had your time to do your investigation. Now it's going to go through multiple layers of review, legal review, uh, command review. Listen, just get it done. Tell us what the results are. And by the way, I don't want to see any legal varnishing on the two stars report. I want to see what he wrote, what he came That's out. Right. And, uh, and, and you're, and you're absolutely this. right. There'll be the review process in that take a couple of months. But here's how bad it is. Here's how bad it is. They said that Sergeant had to be released or they had to make the deal then. They couldn't go uh, to Congress or anybody else because of his health. And then he goes to Germany and he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. There's he's nothing fine. wrong with him. There's nothing yeah. wrong with him. So it's this whole excuse. thing from the jump was I don't know why I don't know why he did it, Mr. Stimson. I, I, I don't know why the president did it. I mean, look, you don't want a, a soldier languishing over there with the Taliban. Everybody knows you don't want him. But five war right. criminals who are about to go back to the Afghan theater. I, I mean, that's yeah. pretty big. Yeah. And, th and this bill is where the rubber meets the road, because now that the general's got his uh, long delayed report finished, 
the criminal justice system in the military can kick into gear and your my co-guest and I have worked in that system it's an efficient fair system and hopefully they'll get to ground truth here and the convening authority the general that out now actually owns Bo Bergdahl will make the right call and the case can go forward all right gentlemen we appreciate your expertise coming on this evening